Hello all, uh, our today's topic for uh, discussion is uh, Terraform security and uh, in our today's topic uh, we will see a couple of points so let's go to the next slide yeah so today we will try to cover uh, these three points like uh, why Terraform security is important and then how to use uh, Chekhov uh, for uh, security scanning and uh, we will see in practical how to create a pipeline for uh, security scanning and then publishing the result what are the res uh, results uh, which we have uh, found in the security scan. So how to publish those uh, results in our pipeline. So we will try to cover all these three points. So let's start. So starting with why Terraform security is important. So uh, Terraform security is not really about securing Terraform. Uh, this Terraform is uh, an infrastructure as a code or tool and uh, Terraform security refers to securing the infrastructure that is built using this Terraform. Infrastructure as a code uh, frameworks like Terraform makes it easy to scale uh, infrastructure quickly and consistently across providers and cloud environment. And uh, while uh, creating these uh, Terraform templates, uh, we might uh, keep some sensitive information within those uh, within those uh, templates, or there can be some uh, misconfiguration that can expose your runtime environment to different security risks if we do not address them. So in order to prevent uh, this kind of Terraform uh, misconfigurations or uh, uh, just to make sure that no sensitive data is uh, we have specified in the Terraform templates. So uh, we need to uh, increase the security of uh, the templates which we have created and uh, uh, to make sure that these security loopholes won't go directly into our production environment. So we can use different tools which are available in market and uh, those tools can be used for uh, uh, for static uh, code analysis of the Terraform templates and they can give us an idea what kind of security roof holes are there within our templates. So in today's discussion actually we will see uh, one of the tools that is Chekhov uh, which can be used for security scanning and uh, how we can use that tool in our uh, pipeline and make, we can make sure that uh, the Terraform templates which we have created will go through that uh, tool and uh, all the security misconfiguration and um, the issues uh, within our templates will be uh, will be given to us so let's uh, let's go and see uh, how that implementation we can do so now we are on uh, Chekhov github page and uh, as it says Chekhov is a static code analysis tool for infrastructure as a code and it can be used uh, for uh, scanning terraform templates then arm templates as well then kubernetes docker files so there are uh, several things which we can do using this tool and uh, for using these tools actually there, there are certain requirements actually we need to follow and uh, yeah these are the requirements like we need to have python installed and then the terraform 0.12 version uh, also there are over thousand built-in policies uh, which are covered uh, when it comes to security scanning so uh, there are multiple policies which are available and it can work with uh, for templates for uh, aws or azure or any cloud uh, provider so let's directly go to our pipeline and see how we can create it and uh, how this tool can be configured. So for uh, today's demo actually I have created one repository uh, that is Terraform templates and I have uh, pushed some uh, default templates actually for uh, creating app services, app service certificates and uh, some a few uh, basic things which we can use for uh, our security scan. And now uh, we will go ahead and create a new pipeline, and uh, that pipeline will be used uh, will be using Chekhov uh, tool uh, for security scanning of this of uh, this templates which are available under this uh, uh, this repository. So now let's go to pipelines and uh, create a new pipeline. Yes, Azure repo. I will select the Terraform template, uh, then uh, starter pipeline. Yeah, I will just name it as a Terraform. So just Terraform scan test dot yeah YAML. okay so trigger I will keep it as it is and uh, for pools actually I will use a uh, different image so I will go with Windows uh, 2019 and we can remove the scripts actually we will be using command prompt uh, command prompt command uh, for uh, for installing and then uh, scanning so if you go to github page uh, you will get those details so as you can see in case if you want to install this particular tool you can use this command and for scanning actually we need to use uh, this command where we say check off and then provide the directory path of the directory which you want to scan so now first what I will do first I will install this check off tool so I will go to assistance and for CMD 
test command line you can just directly pass the command what which you want to use yes so what this command will do it will go and install Checo. so let's give it a proper name uh, display name Checo installation yeah now for the second step for us will be scanning the actual uh, templates so let me add command for that okay i have already i actually i have that command with me so i will just copy and paste it here and will will tell you like uh, what we are exactly doing there yes let me add that task yeah okay yes so now uh, what our script is doing is we are scanning this particular uh, repository entire repository of using Chekhov so in the directory if you can see I have just given the name uh, given the path for default working directory where all all templates will be downloaded from the repository uh, with this uh, directory I have given one more uh, parameter that is output uh, the format of the output which we want so I'm currently uh, spe uh, specifying this JUnit XML so why because uh, at the end we want to publish this result so uh, the JUnit files we can use uh, to publish our test results and then we are saving this particular uh, result in one XML file uh, that is result.xml so it, that file will be created under default working directory so now just we need to add one more task uh, for uh, storing uh, for uh, publishing this result so let me just add that task so publish test results yes name for our file is result.xml and it's under default working directory yeah so you can uh, we can use this I will just directly add it so now that is okay yeah so I will save this pipeline and we'll run it and let's see uh, what results we get save and run okay so the job is complete and you can see uh, uh, everything was working fine and uh, this installation was successful then the scanning was uh, done properly and then finally we published the result and in case if you want to see these results uh, we just need to go to the test tab and the test tab you can see total there were 472 uh, test cases which were performed and uh, out of this around 239 are uh, four of uh, scan results available under this test tab now and if i select any one of them i can get the details related to same so these are the details actually which are for that particular specific uh, scan and then you can go through these results and you can see what you can correct and what uh, uh, what what is required and what is not and then you can correct your terraform type set it to default yeah so if you can uh, if you can see there are a number of uh, scan results available under this test tab now and if i select any one of them i can get the details related to same so these are the details actually which are for that particular specific uh, scan and then you can go through these results and you can see what you can correct and what uh, uh, what what is required and what is not and then you can correct your terraform templates so this way uh, you you can make sure your terraform templates are uh, are uh, having proper security configurations uh, in place uh, you can also perform a scan on what are the resources those are created using the terraform templates so that will be like a, a actual scan of your uh, resources newly created resources that also we will see in our next uh, coming video but uh, in this video I, I just wanted to show you like how you can use this checo uh, security scan tool and check uh, what are of uh, security concerns uh, which are available within your terraform templates so i think uh, for today that's it and uh, uh, see you in next video and in case if uh, this particular video helps you or any of uh, my content helps you do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so thank you